Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22631.2262. This build for the beta channel brings a few new features, a few improvements and also a lot of fixes. So in this video, we're going to try to cover it all and make sure to watch the video until the end if you want to learn more about this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build from the beta channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with notifications bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all if you are using the beta channel you'll notice that in windows update you won't have the check for updates button if you are on the previous build and to check for updates and install this build you're gonna have to open up the terminal just type inside search terminal and the terminal type in here uso client start interactive scan press enter and you'll see that inside settings windows will start checking for updates and you should be updated to the latest version this was a pretty weird weird problem but of course it has an easy solution just type this into the windows terminal or into the run box also don't forget to check out the article below in the video description for more information about the beta channel how the system works and why there are two different insider builds pretty much the big highlight of this build is that microsoft is starting to roll out the new settings home page inside the beta channel and this will include some interactive cards that have rounded corners a mica effect and all around the windows 11 experience i think it looks very very nice keep in mind that this is slow rolling out if you want me to make a different video in which I'll show you how to enable this I can make a new one if you want me to do so and here you will notice that you have some interactive cards as I've said we have recommended settings which basically will feature settings from display installed apps sound cloud storage with more info about the OneDrive storage base used and so on. Information about your Microsoft account, Microsoft 365 subscription management, also Bluetooth devices, and also personalize your device with a quick selection of themes, color mode, and a quick link to the in-depth personalization page or section in the settings app. Note that the personalize your device card won't be available for those of you who don't have Windows 11 activated in the near future, so this is also a thing to note. All around, I think this new settings homepage is looking very nice. It was missing from the previous settings app and I think now the settings app looks very very nice and it goes very very well with the Windows 11 design principles. Microsoft is also introducing additional backup and restore capabilities in this build to make moving to a new PC easier than ever and to help app developers retain users across this new PC transition. And these are improvements related to the Windows backup app, app bins, settings and more. And also you'll notice some of the sections from the new OOB section inside Windows 11 where you basically have have more options to get all the settings and all the apps for my previous Windows installation. For more info about this, you can check out the article below in the video's description. Related to the new file explorer, Microsoft made some changes which should noticeably help improve the performance of the calculating phase when sending a large number of files at once in the file explorer to the recycle bin. Related to casting, building up cast improvements introduced with build 2006 Microsoft updated the cast flyout in quick settings with additional support for you in case you face any trouble discovering nearby displays, fixing connections, and more. And regarding dynamic lighting and settings, you can now instantly sync your Windows accent color with the devices around you with the Match My Accent Color toggle under Effects that you can see here for dynamic lighting via settings, personalization, and dynamic lighting. And Microsoft also added the ability to choose a custom color to light up your devices with. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. For example, regarding to the Taskbar and System Tray, Microsoft fixed an issue where after upgrading the Bluetooth icon in the System Tray might not display in the System tray after upgrade even though your PC supported Bluetooth and the Bluetooth options were shown in settings. They also fixed an issue where the new bell icon might be difficult to see in some cases where it was using a dark outline when your taskbar was dark. They also fixed an issue where the titles were missing from the taskbar previews when turning on tablet optimized taskbar while using uncombined taskbar. Fixed an issue where app icons on the taskbar would become empty with no icon in recent insider builds after switching between desktops. Fixed an issue where if the taskbar was set to uncombined it would still show animations even if they'd been turned off. Display the setting for uncombining taskbar buttons on other screens by default when no secondary monitors are connected. Fix an issue where using drag to rearrange icons in the overflow area wasn't working well when the taskbar was set to uncombined. Fix an issue where uncombined taskbar app indicators weren't shown correctly after it showed something was being downloaded. Fix an issue where the hidden icons flyout might close unexpectedly when using keyboard navigation to move focus between icons. Related to the file explorer, fix an issue where in some cases the context menu 
menu background and file explorer appear transparent. This also impacted the command bar, drop down menus, fiction issue where the context menu and drop down menus in file explorer weren't working with the touch, fixed an issue which was causing the search box in file explorer to not work well with IMEs, fixed a wide flash in dark mode when switching between home and gallery, fixed an issue impacting file explorer reliability, fixed an issue where automatically type into the search box wasn't working when file explorer was open to home, fixed an issue where pasting using the context menu in the address bar wasn't working or other context menu actions in the address bar. They added a little more space between home and the navigation page and the bottom of the command bar. Regarding input, they fixed an issue where typing with the Japanese and Chinese IMEs may not have performed as expected in certain apps in the last few flights when you had selected the option to use the previous version of the IME. If you are continuing to experience issues with this build installed, fixed an issue where when inking into a text field, if you were writing in Chinese, certain characters were being perceived as taps and not working. Fixed an issue where inking into a text field while magnifier was running was not working well as the ink was offset. Regarding HDR wallpapers, they fixed an issue which should cause sporadic explorer.exe crashes when using an HDR wallpaper. Related to the task manager, they fixed an issue where task manager was crashing when using Marisar to default button and settings. And they also did some work to help improve the performance when switching between different pages in the task manager. And these are pretty much all the changes and fixes in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.